We're joined by head coach Herb Sendek and student athletes Jared Brownridge and Nate Cratch. Uh, coach Sendek, we'd like to begin with you, please, an opening statement on the win. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I certainly couldn't be uh, any more prouder of our team and most certainly our, our two seniors to my left. Um, you know, earlier in the week in practice, uh, we lost KJ uh, due to a concussion. And uh, he'd been playing obviously very well. And um, these guys somehow pulled together and uh, really executed a, a, the game plan. And I thought just played with a lot of heart and courage and uh, have a lot of respect for USF. They're, they've had an outstanding season. They're a really challenging team to prepare for. And uh, so the way our guys prepared uh, concentrated and executed the game plan and then made plays just showed tremendous uh, heart and constitution and I couldn't be most importantly more happy for these two seniors and, and our in our in our team in general thank you coach we'll take questions from media members if you have one please raise your hand and wait for us to get a mic to you I'd like to start with questions for student athletes first please uh, will uh, will mop and SB nation this one's for Jared you had, uh, let's see, 28 points. It's another big clutch performance for you. Feels like you've been doing it forever, but does it feel any different for you knowing it's your uh, final go-round here? Um, I mean, every year is different. Uh, you have a different team. Uh, other teams have different teams, different personnel. Uh, but the one thing that stays the same is you have to play hard and you have to have a lot of energy, and that's something that our coach uh, tells us every single day. So I think as a team, collectively, we just wanted to come out here and play hard. That was the, that's, that's what you got to do in March. So I think we did that well as a team, and hopefully we can carry it over into the next game. Other questions for student athletes? Go to John. Yes, uh, John Crumpecker, West Coast Conference Sports uh, for, for Nate. Uh, the game really turned, it seemed, uh, when you had, a, as a team, a, a bunch of timely shots there as, as the second half was, was winding down. Was that something that, uh, as a group, you just knew you had to do at that point, or was that just the way it, uh, it uh, played out, that they had those, those timely shots? Uh, yeah, I think the big thing when we went on our run right there is just playing tougher and more physical, and then playing together as a team, which really helped us go on that run right there and hit shots. Uh, the bigs, we did a great job with setting screens, helping our guards uh, get open. And then also the guards, they did a great job with setting up their screens, coming off hard, and then hitting the shot when they were open. Jeff? Uh, Jeff Goodman, ESPN, for you guys. I know Gonzaga hasn't won, but if they do win, what is the key to pulling off this upset that will be considered a pretty big upset if you, if you guys could beat them with the way the first two games went? Uh, yeah, I mean, to me, and I'm sure to everybody else on the team, it's just another game. And we, it's just all about preparation, uh, which the coaches put in a lot of work into preparing us and making the right game plan for each, each game. So all we have to do is be ready to lock in and listen to what they have to tell us. And it's our job to go out there and, and perform that. And as a team, we still have to play hard. That's all that matters. Oh, yeah, and then just going off what Jared said, uh, I think the big key for us is just focusing on ourselves. Um, Gonzaga is a great team, but uh, we just got to do a great job with preparation. Um, and then during the game, just playing with great energy and effort. And then it's just going to come down to just playing great defense and then uh, uh, rebounding. What were the things that stood out playing them the first two games? What, what was the one thing, if, if there was something, that really stood out on um, Just with the Gonzaga, they're a great team. They have great players. So the big thing for this game, if we do play them, is we just have less errors we can make. So we got to play a great game. Um, we can't have any breakdowns in defense or anything like that. Yeah, like he said, the better the team, the less errors you can make. So we have to go out there and really be prepared and really be locked in to, to not have any turnovers because uh, great teams, they'll take turnovers and turn them into touchdowns, which is in transition. So we have to really lock in on that. Other questions for Coach Sendek or student athletes? Will? You mentioned playing without, uh, oh, this is for anybody. You mentioned playing without KJ, and your defense when he came back from injury earlier this season really seemed to come together then. How do you feel about your defensive performance today without him on the floor? Uh, defense was, was pretty good. Uh, the game plan, we, I think we, you know, did it to a T. Uh, I think the one thing we had trouble with was uh, rebounding, and that's something that we have to carry over into the next game and keep trying to drill in our minds that, you know, we can't leak out to get out on offense. We have to get the rebound first. We have to get the rebound first and then get out. Uh, 
Uh, Herb, this being your, your first year, what expectations did you have for this bunch uh, going into this tournament? Um, yeah. You know, my, my expectations have, have been the same uh, from the beginning, that we just take every opportunity to learn and, and improve, you know, to really connect with each other, serve each other. Um, these guys, I think, have, have really um, – presented the best version of themselves as we've gone along. And uh, it's been a tremendously enriching experience to coach Jared, Nate, and their teammates. Um, I look back to where we were when the season started, and um, they've worked so incredibly hard, and, and they really have um, improved every step of the way, despite you know having to deal with one adversity after another, uh, one injury after another. And, and that really says a lot for the kind of people, kind of men they are. Jared, you and Nate, as seniors on this team, you've, you've been here in Vegas, and you've had some really good battles in this round before. So what does it say about the body of work that you guys have put up in these tough atmosphere type of games in the last couple of years that has you getting to a semifinal tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's what we build up for at the beginning of the season. It's all the hard work that we put in, and, and this is where it – finally comes to show. Uh, like Coach told us, there's a lot of great stories that happen in March. Uh, so it's a great time to be a basketball player, and I think we all know that as a team. And we just want to go out there and play for each other. That's what makes us happy, and that's what makes us play harder. So uh, even though I've been in this situation you know, the last, last three years now, uh, just playing hard and, and being connected is what, what really counts. Uh, just all those people being here at this event, it was just really a great experience to, to get back to friendships with people that I've had over the years. Looking for fast outlets and getting the ball to other people and making sure they hit the open targets. So hopefully we can keep that up headed into tournament play 